So in the last episode, we were doing a bunch of questing, or missions, missions, that's what we're going to call them, missions. And we're going between Trade Stations 1 and Trade Station 2. Trade Station 3 really didn't have a lot going for it, but we might make our way out there today. Because Trade Station 1 and 2 are pretty much tapped out because I did a thing. Between episodes, I went ahead and did a bunch of missions and picked up this guy. He was on the cheap. Uh, I think it was like... Like only 200,000. So uh, we're going to go ahead and um, turn our engines on. Switch that back to auto. Disengage our other engine. All right. So um, let's get this guy out in the light. So I've made some modifications to it already. Um, you can see just to the just to the, on the top there. There's a group of small batteries. Those are new. And there was the one large battery right there. That's it, and that's all. So um, I also added. There was only one uh, reverse thrust, and I added oh, another one. It was only on the very nose of the craft, which seemed really odd to me. But hey, I modified it. So. Inventory. We have on board uh, our canvas. We have our gravity components, our cobalt, small tubes, and bulletproof glass. So this is all we need to complete uh, the canvases for the one parachute we have. Um, so we have everything we need to complete our mission. So we're going to go to Trade Station 1 first. And then we're going to head over to Trade Station 2. Uh, we have quite a bit of money now. <laughs> uh, quite a bit. Uh, we'll even have even more once we get these last few missions here completed. Um, I do want to get one of the larger freighters. Uh, I'm not sure what we'll be able to do as far as... Um, uh, Eddie Magpie asked if there was basically, is there any that are non just atmospheric are they multi role I don't know so um, we're gonna we're gonna learn a little bit together now, this thing doesn't stop very quick so I saw I had to stop I had to do something like this see we're still like cooking along pretty good It burns up our fuel pretty good to do that, though, so. Accelerating or stopping, it seems either way. Church Station 1, this is uh, Havoc LP Gaming coming in on our approach. Alright. So in theory, we can just dock. I've yet to do this, so we're going to learn together. Come on, buddy. Lower waist off. There we go. And lock. Let's go ahead and do that. Come on back. Ugh. 
That was weird. All right. Let's see. Accepted contracts. This is where we're at. The bulletproof class finish. Uh, Civic caller. Confirm. Boom. All right. Wait, can we? Oh, we can't do these here. Okay. Uh, let's see what other contracts we have. Uh, 214. Oh, yes. Accept that. Uh, accept. Sweet. All right. Acquisition request. Some steel plates. Okay, we can do that. Uh, nickel ore. Yeah, we can do that one too. All right. So what we're going to do is we're going to go through these and get these, and then we'll go and I'm going to flag them, write them all down. So, ooh, 143,000. Yes. Please. All right. So what was that one? 28 oxygen bottles. Seventy-four thousand. I don't think that's going to be worth it. So interior plates. Yep. Okay. So yesterday when I was doing these, I actually ended up running out of these quests. So, uh, so yeah. So we come over here, and this is where I get my pen and paper, which I have readily available now. Notepad here, just standing by. All right, so today we're going to be working on 214 gold. And that's ingots. That's important. That's 621 steel plates. Four, two, four. Nickel ore. Oop. There are 22 cobalt ingots. Three hundred ninety-one iron ore. And one hundred eighty-nine. Interior plates. Okay, so the reason I'm doing not just the big ones, but the small ones also, is that if you go in here, go to factions. This is where we are right now, DBM. We're at 20 faction points to the positive. Once we break 500, we get bonuses. So it's worth getting in the higher faction raids. So, see, like this guy here, he, he dispensed us a uh, cosmic coffee. But, uh, alas, yeah. Uh, gold ingots right here. Um, why don't we just buy the 214 gold ingots? How much would that be? I think that would be cheating. 4.5 million. <laughs> Isn't that what he's going to give us for it? Just, just less than that. That's funny. All right. All right. So then we're going to switch you back off a of recharge. All right. So what we're going to do is uh, let's go to trade station. Three is closer. Let's go ahead and go there. Um, I don't plan on fulfilling these quests today. Uh, we're just going to do a quick little circle, show you guys what I, I'm going to be doing in between episodes. Uh, when I get free time, this is what I'm going to be doing. Is I'm going to be making this circle, Trade Station 1, Trade Station 3, and then Trade Station 2. And um, we're going to be picking up these missions to pick up some extra cash to be buying bigger and better craft. I think we're pretty good on money now. Uh, once we turn in what we have in our uh, cargo holds to Trade Station 2. But, uh, yeah. Well, uh, we'll see. Uh, what I'd like to do today is build an atmospheric platform. 
uh, something with some solar panels, some batteries, and some uh, atmospheric engines that will just go up and stay aloft. Uh, something we can go and land at. So think of it like a suborbital uh, station. I don't, I don't know if it's going to, but um, that's what I would like to try today. Basically, the, the only the structure is going to be made up of solar panels, batteries, and engines. That's it. Oh, and and a connector so we could charge craft. But that's pretty much the entirety of what I want to build. Should slow us down a bit there. That's better. As I accelerate some more. We don't have to actually land, land, land. Oh, we may as well. We could recharge when we do that. So, and stop. Engine's off. Battery to recharge. All right. What do you got, buddy? Okay, interior plates. For this one, I'm willing to go for a big money one. Um, it, the hauling contract, no. Uh, acquisition. Because I'm not worried about um, coming all the way out here for, uh, for rep. Because he hasn't had anything here for me to buy. <sighs> as he has uranium. We're sitting at 10.5 million, so we're doing pretty good. Uh, so what will you buy from us? We have a few things on us, large steel tubes, all. Uh, construction funds, he's got a few of those to buy. Uh, see, we have motors and tubes and steel plates. Motors. And steel plates. All right. So that was somewhat profitable. Uh, but yeah, that's pretty much why we're just coming out here and just making this quick little. And now off to trade station two. Yeah, this thing could use a few more thrusters in each direction. Um, it does not break very well at all, which is why I've been flying rather high. Um, but it also has a parachute, so <laughs> that's also kind of nice. <laughs> I suppose we could first outfit it with a bunch of canvas, get to where we're wanting to be, and then just drop parachutes every single time. <laughs> Coming in for landing. That's right. Havoc's here. Drop in Persian. All right. And breaking. Level out. I 
I'd like to try to do this just like this. Oh, maybe that's how we do it. Just line up this way. There we go. We did it. Sweet. Nice work. Good job, Alec. Hey, let me in. All right, so let's complete these, and then we'll pick up a few more while we're here. So this is another 1.9 million. So finish. Let's set a caller. Confirm. Finish. Confirm. And finish. Good. Boom. All right. So now let's go ahead through and look for some more of these acquisition quests. Uh, power cells. Uh, I'm going to go ahead and do this because, um, again, we're going to be doing it for rep more than more than dollars. So, and that's the only one in here. <laughs> okay. That's kind of why we went to that other facility because I wanted to see if there was anything else out there we'd be able to get. So we get new crafts pretty much each time I've come in here. Uh, they've been different. Um, so, the 980 hauler, huh? So, yeah, I see all I see is atmospheric thrusters on there. This guy looks pretty phenomenal. Large cargo containers. I can't tell if that's a small ship, large cargo. No, that looks like it's a large ship. 16 million. Now. We're 3 million away. Uh, if you want to buy some small tubes. Thank you. All right. Um, all right, so um, I don't know. Should we just get the the other guy? Let's flip back over to here. Uh, the hauler for four point seven million. I only spent for the guy we're flying right now. It was like two hundred thousand. I said a hauler right there, two hundred forty-six thousand. So um, I mean, pretty cheap. Um, yeah, see, this guy's got guns on it. I see atmospheric. I do not see hydrogen. That might be hydrogen, like, whoops. Yeah, there's a hydrogen tank on that. That looks all atmospheric. No, 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 no. I, I see hydrogen and hydrogen tank. Okay, so... There is hope. Yeah, there's hydrogen on this guy. So that means we will be able to go into orbit. I do want to get this guy, though. I said we just save up the extra $3 million for this. What do you guys think? Because I don't think right now, quest-wise, it's going to get us $3 million, right? Uh, accepted quests. Oh, yeah, this is, this is $4 million right here. So if I go do a quick run for 214 gold, how much is 214 gold? That is, it tells you here, luckily. The volume is 11 liters. Uh, inventory. Oh, yeah, we just, I'm just going to fly over there and do it. Um, so deposit 912. Deposit. Okay, so 13,000. So I'm going to run over there. I'm going to leave this guy here. I'll leave him here for now. Uh, let's fly over, get some gold, drop it. That was at the other station, too. So, see so that yeah, super quick. Uh, we're going this way. All right. Because we can fly faster, safer in our suit than we can with that hauler. And we don't need that much inventory space. I wrote it down, right? 214 gold ingots. Yep. Because if that, if those bigger ships can go into orbit, then we'll be able to make better mining halls for platinum as well. So, and uranium.
So I really like the idea of holding all of our crafting. All of our ships have to become from purchase. I kind of like this because then it forces us to play the trade game. So, yeah. So Eddie Magpie was saying that he's starting a new game. The station's closer. Um, even if they're not close, I mean, that just forces you to play the game to that extent, right? I mean, should I relocate our base to be closer? I mean, I don't think so. I think our base is situated really well. We're going to stop off at Turtle. Or hydrogen while we're here. Okay, now let's go grab some gold and a new ship. So a U, not a G. Oh, we don't have enough. No way. Hold the phone. How do we not have enough? I don't understand. Did we use all of it on those upgrades? I didn't think we'd use that much gold for those upgrades. Lights. All right, so I guess we're harvesting some gold here real quick. For $4 million, it's worth it. Gold. There's gold in the Nar Hills. I said that last time, didn't I? Alright, so let's get out of here, drop off some stone. Oh my goodness, we have a ton of stone. Alright, we need to clear out this hole. Come on, buddy. Go, 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 go. Let's get rid of all this garbage. Let's get rid of most of that garbage. How's that? One, it's getting better. All right, let's get back onto the harvesting front. All right. Come on, buddy. Give me all that gold. Um, oh my goodness, where are we? There we are. Inventory, stone, drop. Back to gold. Is there any up here? Yeah, there's something up there. 
Ben, inventory. Three wow, four. we're not doing very good at this. Come on. How about up here? Yes. Yes. Inventory, stone drop. 4,000 gold, we're getting there. We're going to go with this, get this harvested, or processed. This do, 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 do. All right. Oh, I thought I was going to crash. All right, you're processing cobalt. Now you're going to be processing gold. Yeah, it's time for you. Oh, that's going up pretty quick. All right, that's going up way faster than I thought I was going to. Okay, so we only need uh, 214, which isn't too bad. Not working on the other project we want to work on. Uh, thinking large scale is going to be best. And how do I want to build this? Um, I think we're just going to build right off of this. Um, Eddie also said that it's probably, I think it was Eddie who said. I'm going to make sure I'm going to read comments just to make sure. Uh, yep, it was Eddie who said that's possibly a good idea that anything that flies, we don't paint blue anymore because it, they're up in the sky. <laughs> uh, I kind of like that logic. <laughs> so we're not going to paint anything we're going to put in the sky blue anymore. So uh, Manta would probably be the last one that's going to be blue. And it includes Manta Mark II. So Mark II, you're going to stay blue. And maybe we'll change it up. We'll go for the gold. No, we're going to stay blue. All right, so let's build this over here. And uh, do we have any steel plates on us? We don't. Let's get some. Do we have a bob over here? We're not going to build here if there's not a bob. No bob. All right. All right, so let's come up. About three blocks, so it doesn't fall very far. And then we're going to start with a battery. Actually, I wanted that atmosphere thruster on there. Oops. So, a battery. Atmospheric thrusters. And solar. All right, so the center is going to be a battery. Actually, the center is going to be an atmospheric thruster. So I'm going to do this, put a battery down. And we're going to go to number seven. If I can get out of the way. There we go, just like that. And then I want to put a battery there, a battery there. And battery there. All right, so in theory, this is going to be what we're doing. 
So eight. Rotate. I place you. Come on, get over. Get over there. Come on, get. Why is this so difficult? There we go. That's what I wanted. Oh, that's okay. So we just click there. So we're going to be building off this vein right here. Like so. So I don't know power to weight of the atmospheric thruster. Like, is this enough to keep this thing permanently aloft and charging? I have no idea. Uh, set this to recharge. Uh, actually, I don't know if I want to do that. Um, put it back to auto. Be fully charged in two days. Okay. I, I don't know what kind of structure I want to put to this. You know what I mean? I need to be able to dock to this. We're going to get it up there. And uh, so let's put seven. Small atmospheric thruster. We're going to put one of those just like that on each corner. It's going to need a gyro at the very least as well. Okay, so it's going to cover all the directions except for down, which again, in theory, you should need. Um, so we need a gyro. So where do we place a gyro on this? Guess we're going to place it right there. And then we'll place the seat over here. Small control flights, yes, small ship only. Toilet seat. <laughs> the command throne. <laughs> um, you need interior supports. Okay. Thank you. All right. Six. Okay, there it is. Build it. Weld it. Crikey, how much welding is there required for that? Gameters are off. Uh oh. Okay. Really? Why are, why are we arcing? Thank you for stopping the arcing. Um, so, um, here goes nothing. Well, it's keeping itself aloft. All right, so... Um, It has two hours, three hours, four hours of runtime.
Okay. Um, so three hours of runtime. I have enough to keep it aloft, though. But we can move in any direction. We can pitch and roll really easily. I'm wondering if this is too much thrust, if we should reduce to small generators or small atmospheric thrusters. Although uh, we're going to be, we're going to want to dox. So I think it's a good idea. All right, so what we're going to do is we're going to put a connector on here somewhere. Um, I think I'm going to put it right there. Uh, let's go G connector this guy. And we're going to put it right there. That's not how I want to place it. So we're going to come out. Let's come out two blocks. Yeah, that'll work. And then we'll place it right there. Right, let's go ahead and land. Let the bobs do their job. Thank you, Bobs. All right, so we're going to need to name this, and we're going to name this info Skyhawk. I don't know why. That just literally just came to me. So you are now Skyhawk. Uh, static Grid, you are now Skyhawk. Data grid 9930, you're now Skyhawk, please. No. Sky Hawk. With a capital H, please. Thank you. Say okay. Say okay. All right. So info, it's been there. Are we now Skyhawk? We are now Skyhawk. So control panel, we want to name all our batteries to Skyhawk. Skyhawk batteries all batteries. All right, save, save. All right. Oh, and then we also want thrusters. Atmospheric thrusters, yes. Capital H A W K Atmo all. Save. All right. So that's that. And now we're going to paint it. So uh, let's climb out. Oh, wait. I want to do one other thing. I want to put a docking port right here for it. So seven. <laughs> Seven <laughs> rotate place. Bobble weld that up real quick for us. And then we're going to go in here. We're going to paint it uh, black. No. What color do we want to paint the hawk? Let's go with rusty armor. Gray? No. We want it to stand out. So let's go with yellowish. No, we're going to go green. We're going to go rusty green armor. Mossy green armor. Yeah, so we go four. Oh, that didn't go very green, did it? So something like this. No, we want to have like a neon green. Yeah. Out, right? Okay, 
so four, control shift eight. Oh, that stands out. Now, what else do we need to name that connection real quick, too? Uh, control panel, connector. Skyhawk. There we go. Perfect. Oh, what a little bit there. Okay, so we're going to go into G. Uh, connector is here. Switch lock, groups, all atmo, toggle block on off, and toggle recharge. So lock, all thrusters off, and recharge. Sweet. All right. So that's the thing. Uh, Skyhawk, we'll, uh, we'll put in Skyhawk into play next uh, next episode. So, wait, did they all go into recharge? Doesn't, oh, that's the solar panel. That's fine. I thought that was the battery still showing green. But, all right. So, we'll put Skyhawk into play next episode, and basically what I want to do is take it up just at the edge of atmosphere. And, uh, it's only 50 gold. I don't, I'm kind of scared. We need 214. That's only 143. <laughs> so it looks like I'm going to be harvesting some more gold as well. Uh, let's see. Gold. Let's look in here. Gold, gold, gold. Yeah, that's all we got. Uh, so I'm going to go harvest some more gold. And uh, in our next episode, we are going to go get that new hauler. Um, and we're going to put Skyhawk into play. So thanks for watching, everybody. I do appreciate you all being here. I hope you <laughs> were able to catch up on both episodes. I really don't like dumping two episodes on you guys, but it had to happen. So I, I felt bad for not getting you guys the episode for me being out of town. So this is Havoc. Have fun as I go to go find some more gold. Have fun and keep gaming. Thank you.